Are you setting up a new kitchen? Maybe you've moved into a new home or decluttered your current one, tossing everything and wanting to start from scratch. Or maybe you're wondering what to toss and what to keep. It can be a tad overwhelming. All the different options of must have cookware, utensils, equipment, tools, and appliances. You might be wondering, what do I actually need? If you're like me and you live in a small city apartment where space is limited, well then you probably know there isn't much room for extras. This is why I take a minimalist approach and only stick to the must have items, which I want to share with you today to make your lives easier. If you're a working mama and you want to successfully survive work, life, and mommyhood, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I release brand new videos every Wednesday. Let's jump into 10 must-have kitchen essentials. I will leave links to all the items in the description box below. Also, feel free to grab my minimalist kitchen essential list which contains additional items not covered in this video. For each item, I have a budget-friendly option as well as a premium one. First up is a chef's knife. Ever tried cutting with a dull knife? I feel like we tend to buy a ton of different knives wasting money when instead we should just invest in one really good one. And since you can use a chef's knife for all of your cutting needs and use it every time you cook, better quality will benefit you for years to come. Also watch your fingers, these things are hella sharp. Next, a paring knife. A paring knife is basically a chef's knife with a smaller blade and used for peeling apples and potatoes and mincing small vegetables. Think younger brother of the chef's knife. Doesn't do the heavy lifting, but still functions with precision. Cutting boards. One of the basic tools you need in your kitchen is a cutting board. I've bought a bunch of cheap ones and they break, peel, and develop streaks. Keep in mind that a cutting board is something you use every time you cook, so investing in a more durable one is best. Here are two options. The plastic does tend to be easier to clean and maintain, Wood requires extra love. A can opener, a must have for any home, that is unless you never open any cans. I remember a time when I lost one in a move. And let me tell you, trying to open a can of tuna with a knife and a hammer was not fun. Mixing bowls, a minimalist must have. I recommend having them in a few different sizes. They are stackable, don't take up extra space, and there isn't always a need to make a salad for 10 people. Next, a skillet set. Full transparency, I used to be someone who would buy them on a budget and they never lasted. I just couldn't bring myself to pay $50 for a pan. Fast forward to now and I've had these frying pans for several years and they are in perfect condition. Next are saucepans. Every home should have a saucepan. One typically will suffice and I do recommend four quarts for cooking a variety of different things. Now on to my favorite item, the air fryer. Love it, can't live without it. It's so versatile and also allows me to use my oven for storage, kidding, not really. What can you cook in it? Everything. Broil, bake, air fry, heat up. It's so easy and quick. For a complete list of kitchen essentials, grab my free guide in the description. Another favorite of mine is the coffee maker. If you're a coffee lover, a coffee machine is a must. Also, it saves you a ton of money when you brew coffee at home. I have the Keurig one cup and I love it. If you watched any of my other videos, you probably know that I have a coffee addiction and have even named my coffee maker Mary. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying my video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. And let me know what's an item in your kitchen that's a must have. And finally, the blender. If you love making smoothies, sauces, dips, or soups, a blender is a kitchen must have. Depending on the size of your family, you can invest in a single serve bullet or the larger counter blender. Ensuring that your kitchen has everything you need to function efficiently makes the cooking process so much fun. I do encourage you to purchase higher quality, multi-purpose items that last. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to be good to yourselves.